I wanted to talk about atrial fib and give you some tips that you can try. Now, just so you know, I'm not telling you to get off your medication. Okay, that's between you and your doctor. That's my disclaimer. But the point is, I want to give you other solutions that you can try to help your situation. Okay, number one, atrial fib is an electrical problem of the heart. Now, the question is why? What controls that? What controls the electricity of the heart is electrolytes. What are electrolytes? Those are minerals that have electrical properties. Primarily, the real issue with atrial fib is, is magnesium, okay? So magnesium is an electrically charged mineral in the heart that allows it to stay in rhythm. And if you have atrial fib, the problem is it increases your risk for stroke by five to seven times, okay? But let's just talk about magnesium for a second. Now, let's say you had a blood test, right, and it comes out normal. And you're saying, well, I'm fine because I have enough minerals and things like that. First of all, they never check magnesium. They rarely check potassium. Those are two main electrolytes. Because most of the magnesium, even if they did check the, the mineral minerals, most of the magnesium is in the bone. It's inside the cell. It's not in the extracellular fluid like the blood. So that's why it's hard to detect. So magnesium is also present in vegetables, okay? So an average person consumes about 270 milligrams of magnesium. They need double that, like 480. That's what they need, okay? And probably if they're deficient, they need a lot more. So it comes down to a couple different root causes. One is they're not having enough vegetable in the diet, okay? And also potassium. You need about seven to 10 cups of vegetables just to get your potassium, okay? But you, if you eat vegetables, you'll get both of these minerals, okay? So it's a dietary deficiency issue. It could also be coming because your digestive system is not right. Either you have maybe some uh, Crohn's problem, maybe you had a gastric bypass, maybe your stomach is not acid enough. Do you know you need a really acid stomach to absorb magnesium? Yeah, in fact, the symptoms of, a, of low stomach acid is heartburn indigestion. So if you have heartburn indigestion, that means you don't have enough acid. If you want more information on that, check out my video. I'll actually put a link below, but that's interesting. So if you have a stomach problem, that could be why you have atrial fib because you're not pulling the magnesium in from the diet, okay? Another cause could be too much calcium. If you're taking calcium, what that will do, that will shut down the absorption of magnesium because they both work together. So if you have this condition, I don't recommend taking any calcium, okay? Even, even like certain medications for high blood pressure, they give you a calcium channel blocker. I wonder why, right? The other thing is you could also have a low vitamin D level. Low vitamin D um, will prevent the absorption of not just calcium, but magnesium as well. So that could be your real reason why you have the problem, okay? So, there's a great book. It's called Beat Your AFib by Stephen Ryan, PhD. I'll give you a link below. I think it's a great, great book. If you have this, just to get more information, it's backed up by a lot of um, credible scientific studies that you can check it out and uh, use that to get more knowledge about this issue. But if you're going to get a magnesium, get something called angstrom magnesium. This is a type of magnesium that's a million times smaller than regular magnesium supplements out there. And so it goes in like a rocket ship. I don't necessarily recommend taking a potassium supplement because they only come in 90, uh, 99 milligrams and you need 4,700 milligrams. You have to have t the whole bottle, which I don't recommend. So the best thing to do is increase your salads. Start having huge salads, more vegetables through the day. You have to bite the bowl and start increasing your vegetables. And you'll see that the cardiovascular system will start to come around. If you have atrial fib, and you want to replenish these minerals, it doesn't happen overnight, okay? Because by the time you have atrial fib, you really depleted a lot of your reserve in your heart. So it takes a while to get that back. It could take easily two, three, four plus months to get that back, all right? But this will speed it up and start eating better, and then write your comments below. I'll see you in the next video.